Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I will be reviewing the brand new Car Dealership Tycoon update. So let's get started. There you have there are a few new features added in this update that I am going to show you right now. So let's start off with a couple features added using the GT40. So the first one is uh, backfiring. As you can see, certain cars do backfire, which is, uh, I think, a much needed update and really cool in my opinion. Uh, now the next new feature is the ability to do donuts. So this is pretty easy to do. All you want to do is accelerate, turn, and hold your brake. And see, you're able to do donuts, right? Like that. <laughs> kind of weird donuts but yeah sometimes they will turn into a rear wheel drive burnout which is also really easy to do you just want to hold your brake and the accelerator at the same time or reverse an accelerator the parking brake is not needed for rear wheel drive cars and um, donuts can only be done with rear wheel drive cars anyway uh, on to the next new feature added I'll use the 4 GT for this one the new for the new 4 GT uh, I just painted a different color because you can't really see it. Alright, uh, so these are uh, active spoilers. So as you can see, the spoiler pops up when you reach, I think it's 65 miles an hour. Here, let's see. Uh, it is... Uh, when does it pop up? Yeah, it's 60 or 65 miles an hour, the spoiler pops up. And also, uh, there is a bit of movement in the spoiler, which I'll just show you in one of the new vehicles that Foxy revamped, which is the McLaren P1. Uh, he revamped the startup sound, it seems, so I'll just show that to you real quick. So yeah, that's actually a pretty good startup. I quite like that. Anyway, uh, this, this car can really show the, uh, the new spoiler as well, so as you can see, the spoiler lifts itself up, and when you brake, see it tilts forward, as it does in a real car to uh, increase drag and slow the car down faster. So yeah, uh, that's it for the new features. So yeah, now let's head on to the brand new cars. There were four cars added in this update, the first of which is the $37,000 Nissan Silvia S15. So let's get on to the top speed test. Uh, this car has a top speed of 122 miles an hour. Here's the braking test. Really good brakes, but then again, it's a relatively slow car. Anyway, uh, now on to the quarter mile drag race test. And I will see you guys at the drag strip. Alright, um, I'm here at the drag strip. So let's do a quarter mile with the Nissan Silvia S15. Uh, I really quite like this car. It's, um, it's I don't know, I, I find the S15 to be a really kind of a cool car. I, I really wish they'd add this to Greenville, which is a game I do play, I just don't play it much on... I've never played it on YouTube just because it's kind of laggy. <laughs> anyway, uh, here we go. One... Alright. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, so like we got over 100 miles an hour for the finish line there, so I'll uh, get a quarter mile in almost 14 seconds, 13.949 seconds, with a speed of 100 miles an hour, 131 miles an hour. So yeah, um, let's get on to the next car. Alright, uh, so the next car is the Nissan Silvia S15 race spec. This is one of two new limited cars added to the game. As you can see, as I'm recording this video, it has, there are 20 days left uh, for this car to be obtained. 
So yeah, I definitely get this car. It's a really good car. It's also really cool in my opinion. Anyway, uh, this car really does sound good. It's super easy to do burnouts with this car. Here, see? I mean, uh, donuts. See? Super easy. Anyway, um, let's get into the top speed test. Do a burnout here so I can launch my car. Oh, this car is way faster than my uh, the, uh, the stock Sylvia. How have I been recording for seven minutes? Okay. Alright. Uh, this car has a top speed of 170 miles an hour. Here's the braking test. Really good brakes. Wow. Alright. Uh, I'll see you guys back at the drag race for the quarter mile test. Alright, uh, so we're here at the drag race, and um, yeah, let's do the quarter mile. I know this car is insanely fast on the quarter mile. Um, if I'm not laggy, I can beat a, I think I was able to beat a Ferrari 812 super fast on the quarter mile, and that is a lot more expensive than this car. Anyway, uh, let's see how fast it is. 90 miles an hour, 100 miles an hour, 110, 120, 130. Alright, uh, so we've got a, we've got a um, time of 10.2 seconds and a speed of 135.94 miles an hour. So this car is obviously a limited vehicle. It costs $650,000 and it has a handling rating of 7.2. Uh, it's a uh, rear wheel drive and it gives you $63 at the dealership and $2,931 per mile. So yeah, let's get on to the next vehicle. Alright, so the next car added to the game is this uh, Dodge Viper ACR. Looks to be the 2017 or something around that generation. Anyway, uh, this is a really cool car. Anyway, uh, so let's get on to the top speed test. Oh wait, I should probably do a burnout so I can launch it. Alright, here we go. Alright, we are already at 100 miles an hour. What's it, 170? There we go, 170, 180. Looks like it has a top speed of 182 miles an hour. Here's the braking test. Pretty good brakes. Alright, um, yeah, 180 mile an hour top speed. Uh, 182. Alright, I'll see you guys back at the uh, drag race. Alright, uh, we're back at the drag race. Uh, let's do the quarter mile test. This is a really cool car, <laughs> I have to say. I still prefer my Sylvia, but you know, the ACR is still a pretty cool car. Alright, three seconds to go, two, one. Alright, we are in the drag race, and that was almost exactly 12 minutes of filming, which won't be 12 minutes because I edit quite a bit out. Anyway, here we go for the quarter mile test. Alright, um, already past 100 miles an hour, 20. Looks like we're going to have a top speed of 137 miles an hour on that, with a time of 10.216 seconds, so slightly better than the, um, than the S15 race spec. Anyway, uh, this is a $280,000 car, top speed of 182 miles an hour, handling rating of 7.7, .7. it's obviously rear wheel drive, you have $65 at the dealership and $3,034 per mile. And it comes stock in this navy blue color. Sorry, right, I really don't know my car colors that well. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get on to the final car. Alright, so um, the final car is right behind me. This is the brand new limited car for the update. It costs $8.5 million. And it's a car I've been waiting for the pad for quite some time. And it is the Ferrari FXXK. Now, this one is the Evo, which I guess is sort of the race back edition. It's also got, um, sometimes it's got dive planes on the front. And it also has 
the connected wing at the back, as opposed to the normal FXXK, which only has two, I guess, winglets. This one also has an active spoiler uh, right under the, uh, the main wing. Anyway, let's get into the top speed test. As you can see, the wing, I mean, the spoiler went up there at, uh, well, I guess 60, 65 miles an hour whenever it goes up. Alright, so it looks like we're going to have a top speed of 225 miles an hour uh, with an awful braking test. Uh, yeah, that was interesting. Uh, I will just show you how the spoiler works here uh, on my way back to the drag race. So as you can see there, it goes up. Then I, you know, once I brake, it'll go up a little bit more to increase the drag. So yeah, it's kind of cool. I uh, just, I love the spoilers update. It's so cool. Um, especially on Bugatti. So I'll show you that after this drag race. All right. I, I absolutely love the Ferrari FXXK. I'm, I'm not quite sure, but I'm pretty sure it's a, um, a modified LaFerrari, but, you know, um, this is one of my favorite Ferraris. It's just, it's so cool. Alright, um, so we're gonna be doing the quarter mile here, so let's see what kind of time we get. Um, again, I've said this in a few videos, Limited cars are, uh, they're, they really are worth it because they're almost always really cool, but if you're just looking for speed and, uh, the amount of money you get for driving them, they're just, they're not usually worth it. Other than, you know, the Bugatti Bull Lead, which is the second fastest car in the game. <laughs> anyway, uh, this, uh, this car got a... A uh, time of 9.266 seconds at the speed of 160.11 miles an hour. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty quick. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, this is an 8.5 million dollar limited car. It will move for about 20 more days. Has a top speed of 225 miles an hour, handling rating of 8.3. It's pretty good, but you know, it is a full-on race car, so kind of makes sense. Uh, there's 71 dollars of the dealership paying 3,360 dollars per mile. And so yeah, that is, that concludes my up, my review of brand new car dealership tycoon update. Now I'll just show you how the wing works on a Bugatti. So this I'll just use the Chiron because I prefer it to the Mayron. <laughs> anyway, um, I, I just love Bugatti's spoilers. They're just so cool. Anyway, there it is popped up. And it just, yeah, it works just like the real car. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want to see more car dealership tycoon content, please uh, consider liking and subscribing. And also maybe comment down below some ideas uh, of the videos you might want me to make in the future. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. Peace out, dudes.